August 2013, footage emerged of what appeared to be a chemical weapons attack near the Syrian capital Damascus. Civilians were shown convulsing and struggling to breathe. Médecins Sans Frontières reported over 3,000 patients displaying neurotoxic symptoms. The death toll varied, but it's believed to have been in the hundreds, with many of the victims children. A team of United Nations chemical weapons inspectors later confirmed that the nerve agent sarin was used. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon told the Security Council he believed the attack constituted a war crime. The Syrian government was believed to have over a thousand tons of chemical agents. But it denied orchestrating the attack and, backed by Russia, described the allegations as false. Instead, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad blamed rebel groups. On the 9th of September, Russia proposed Syria place its chemical weapons under international control and dismantle them. Syria agreed. But the United States pushed the UN Security Council to authorize force should Assad fail to comply. Over the last two years, my administration has tried diplomacy and sanctions, warnings and negotiations. But chemical weapons were still used by the Assad regime. A month later, a UN team arrived in Syria to begin the destruction of chemical weapons stockpiles and facilities. But due to security concerns, it was only able to inspect 21 of the 23 sites. By May 2014, Syria had missed several deadlines to remove its chemical weapons stockpile. The Obama administration, working with Russia and international experts, later claimed to have destroyed the stocks. Last year, however, hospital officials in Aleppo reported a chlorine gas attack, and that was followed by this month's attack in Idlib. Clementine Logan, CGTN.